Sergeant Haley from Merced, California. You know him by the name Dope as Yola. It's time for Story Time! Perfect. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Dope as Yola here. Hope you have a dope ass day. Welcome back to Story Time. Before we get started, leave a like, notification bell, subscribe. Most of all, leave a comment. What do you guys want to see? You guys know we go through all the comments, so do me a favor, drop a comment. What do you want the next story time to be about? This episode, I find very negative, but at the same time, a positive to talk about it and get it out there. I have never talked about this before, ever. So today's episode is fan encounters, but I've had 50,000 fan encounters. None of them have been bad except for one. Well, one and a half. So I'm gonna talk about the first one, it's very light. The second one, is a lot different and before we get into the story i'm going to say this if any of these stories happen to be about you it is not to make you feel bad it is not to make you feel lame i'm not trying to make fun of you i'm only speaking factual terms i will never embellish exaggerate just because it is story time that's the point is to tell you what happened so for those of you out there that has happened to be about you there doesn't need to be a response i don't care i'm not holding it against you this is just a story things that happened in my life that's a story story time so guys uh i'm trying my best to be like super happy happy and positive about it, but it's not a happy or positive subject. This is fan encounters, but the bad ones, okay? This is not like, yo, I met somebody four years later, they were a dad and I met their child. Like, it's not one of the fun times. These are bad ones. Let's get started. This story takes place. 2015. I spoke about this part. There's two stories in this. This first one is a little appetizer. Right? It's just a little thing to talk about because it is part of it. It's like 2015. I'm in Rayleigh's in Merced. Rayleigh's is a grocery store. I'm in Rayleigh's. You know, I'm in line waiting to get to the cashier. And I see a dude. He looks at me. Looks at me again. And at this time, I wasn't on top of like, oh, this fool probably follows me. By the way, you look at me. You, uh, okay, I can see that you're hyped. Or I can see that you're like looking at your phone. Like, is this the same person? Or if I see someone look at me and they get on their phone and look at me again, it's because they're checking to see if that was me. It happens every day. So I wasn't used to this. The guy's looking at his phone. He's looking at me. At first, I was just like, all right, fool, what do you want? We're going to fight. What's the problem? What do we do? It's Merced. I'm like, bro, why are you staring at me? I'm not hostile. I don't jump to conclusions very often, but he was staring at me very weirdly. Now I know that he was just kind of off and he is a fan. I know I can identify that shit off back now. After the meet and greets especially, I met 10,000 plus people, had 10,000 conversations. I read people way better than I thought I did. But back then, I wasn't sure. I just thought he was trying to start something with me. So I'm standing there, peripheral. He's looking at me. He's looking at me. He's looking at me. He's like by a, you know when you're walking into the grocery aisle and you're about to get the checkout? There's magazines. There's candy. There's old candy. And then over here is a bunch of drinks like in a little fridge next to you. Like a grocery store. There's always that little fridge with Aquafina, a Sprite, a Sierra Mist, and a Pepsi, some stupid shit. So he's standing right there. It's not like he's checking out, looking at magazines. That's why I kept looking. I'm like, bro, get away from me. Who are you? I just got that vibe, right? So I'm about to, you know, looking down. That means cashier's here. Here's the little belt. Drinks are behind me. Another aisle's behind me where the next cashier would be. I'm about to put myself on the belt so the cashier can start ringing it up. You've been to the grocery store. I'm looking down and I look up to like, I'm putting my stuff down and it gets to where I don't want to pile it up. The other lady's stuff's not done. So I don't want to be that guy that loads it all up, like looking at the next person. Hurry up. So I just stop. I get what I can put on the belt and I wait. So I'm standing there and all I see is this, a phone right in my face, on my eyelashes essentially. So I'm just standing there waiting, and like I said, phone right here touching me damn near. And I just do this one. Phone's in my face and I do what anybody would. Do my head dodge and what? Any one of you would do that, right? And he's just holding the phone. And the second I go, he goes, is this you? Like that, not like, hey, is this you? Is this you with a phone of my Instagram in my face? And I'm doing this, I'm like, yeah, what's up, man? He goes, I really like your content, man. I go, oh, thank you very much, dude. He goes, yeah, I like what you do. Walked away. Obviously, he's odd, socially awkward, doesn't get it, doesn't understand personal space, doesn't really get earth yet. It's not like he was trying to be hostile to me. He wasn't sitting there like, yeah, I like your stuff, bitch. He, well, he wasn't like that. He was just off. And that's when I went, oh. And remember, it's hard to creep up on me, but I was mid groceries you don't expect somebody to 
pop up on you. Anyway, very light story, right? And it was just me, Rosie wasn't there. It was more like, well, I'll fight you. The inner me came out like, get away from me. You're so close to my face. But as soon as he had the Instagram, I'm like, oh, he's a fan, but he's off. Don't make him feel bad. Because off people, you be nice to the guys and the girls that are a little weird. They don't know that they're a little weird. That's why they're weird. So you can't hold it against them. Just be nice to them. Hopefully one day you're nice to them enough that they go, oh, oh, that's how you're supposed to act like that. Oh, this guy doesn't do that. Everyone else doesn't want to be friends with me. Is it because this guy's treating me? Do you see what I'm saying? There's a lot of Brian's out there. Brian's been my story time and everybody was mean to him. That was nice to him because everybody was so mean to him. They turn out to be a weird ass fool on some weirdo shit, but you got to give everybody a chance. And that's why I gave this fool like a, all right, it's cool. So be nice to weird ass fools out there. They don't know they're weird. That was a soft intro, okay? That was a very nice way to start this episode because this episode's about to be one other story and it's probably gonna take me a while. So let's get to story number two, the final story. And I know you're like, what, that's it? Nah, this story's got some details, gonna take some time. I'm still pissed off. So before we start, I wanna say this right now. If this story happens to be about you, we're not here to make fun of you. We're not here to call you weird. We're not here to like, yo, you're using my emotions for content. No, I'm talking about some stuff that happened to me and I gotta be honest, since this happened, I think about it every day and I feel bad every day because I don't get mad like that. It takes a lot for me to get upset and I think I got upset very fast because of the situation. I still think about it and I get pissed and then I go, damn dude, I feel kind of bad. I don't want to be mean to nobody. I don't want to hurt people's feelings. Even if you deserve it, I don't want that. But if it happens, it does dwell on me. I still think about it. I, I talked to Rosie about this two days ago. Like I'm thinking about it every day still. Every day it pops in my head at least one time. And not because I'm mad. I'm mad more at myself for getting so upset. I don't like to get upset, especially in public and especially in a place where I was. Let's start this story. I'm not gonna give exact locations or dates just because like I said, this is a real, real people. I don't want people to get like so butthurt that they do something to themselves or they do something to somebody else. Like I said, this is just a story. We're not here to put you out there and tell everybody it was you. I'm not here to <coughs> tell people your name because I know your name. I just wish it was didn't happen. That's really, I just wish it, this didn't happen. So let's start the story off where it started two years ago. I am very active in my chats. You guys know that I care. I will remember your name. I will remember your face. I remember people. And if I don't, it's not on purpose. I met thousands and thousands and thousands of people and I try my best to remember them. If you're in my live chat, I can remember your name and I've never met you. It's like meeting pen pals that you never thought you'd meet. When I met Stephen Pruitt when out in, in Chicago or Illinois, that shit blew my mind. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? Like there are people when you meet them like, bro, that's you? Yeah! So this is where it started. I remember people from chat. I'm very active in the chat. Two years ago, this certain person, I can say the name, started commenting in my chat, told me that they're from my area. Made me more hyped. I love when people are from the Valley. Like it makes me excited, right? And remember, I'm not doing a whole story time on this person because they're so important that they need to be talked about. That's not what this is. It's not. In a year when I stop feeling bad, I'll forget this incident happened until someone brings it up. It only dwells on me because I feel bad about it. It's not because it was that important. I don't like to get upset. So when I do get upset, I would think about every step and how I could have stopped that. So for everyone out there, no, this guy's this guy's not like, wow, you're the best fan, the meanest fan. That's not what this is. Fools just had a moment and this is the moment. Not a good moment, but this is what happened. The story takes place recently, within the last year. And I won't say where it's at. Anyway, this person's in my chat for years. Always supportive, always very cool. I remember their name. Yo, and then the chat, what's up, fool? Hey, blah, 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 blah. Remember about a month and a half ago, if you watch the podcast, I said a lot of content controversy going on with me lately. Like a lot of the hardcore longtime fans are being very odd to me. And I had like three fans just to tell me that I was a piece of shit recently. And I was like, for what? You didn't answer this and that. I'm like, bro, I've been talking to you for two years. I miss texts from my mom. I'm sorry. Like I've had people tell me that. Like it's crazy. People I know by name, their whole name. Like, like bro, I'm sorry I missed it. I wasn't ignoring you. Yeah, fool. You made some money. Now you can't even com comment back to me in the chat. What a piece of shit. I'm talking to 2,000 people at once. I'm trying my fucking best. I type with two fingers. 
You know what I'm saying? Anyway, and this other person, this person that I'm talking about in the chat a couple months ago during an episode of the podcast just started saying like random stuff in the chat. And I'm like, okay, you know, maybe he's just having a weird day because I know this person online, never met him and I just know the name. Like, hey, what's up, man? Thanks for being in the chat again. I know your name. You know what I mean? If they came up to me in person and said their name and go, I know that name. What? Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? So what happens is they start saying weird shit in the chat for like an hour and a half. The episodes are an hour and a half to three hours long sometimes. Fool was saying a bunch of random shit and I'm trying to ignore it. It's almost spam, right? And I'm like, all good, all good. The next week, the same thing. Fools just start saying random shit, having a conversation and answering it back in the chat, but to himself. No one else was commenting back to that. So I was like, bro, are you trolling me? Are you messing with me? And I hit him up like, yo, on the chat, like, yo, what's up, man? Everything good? No response. Didn't respond to me at all. Then kept going hard in the chat about random, random, random shit about, didn't even have nothing to do with the with the with the episode. And that's why I'm like, bro, you're, you're messing up the chat. Like, can you chill, please? You've been here for so long. What's going on? I said this in the chat, everybody can read this. Everybody that comes together and watches is there every week. They're like, yo, what's up, man? You got that job? Hell yeah, I'm in the chat with you guys. People know each other in the chat. If I never met pen pals, like I said. So even some people are like, yo, you good? To this person. I'm like, bro, I don't know what's going on, but are you good? Are you being a dick? Did someone get your account? Like your home, you're in the bathroom, your homie's trying to make you look stupid. That's happened before. Or people have told me that before it was an excuse I don't know anyway I let it go week three third week of the show in, in a row full just writes paragraphs about like Jesus something and something to repent and I'm like bro no 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 and when people do that I automatically get on them I'm not anti-religious I'm not like an atheist I don't think that your religion's dumb I'm not against it but don't be bringing it in the chat if we're not talking about that we were having an episode with like the, I can't remember what, what guest it was we're talking about something goofy and this person just started talking about all these like almost verses from the bottom like what are you doing like bro this has nothing to do with it i hit him up like yo you gotta chill dude what, what's going on this is the third week in a row you've been saying some weird stuff in the chat and i'm not saying weird as in you're weird irrelevant saying irrelevant shit in the chat don't do that like we're trying to have a conversation with everybody as the guest is talking like yeah and he told me this after the show the guy's a great person she's so funny blah 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 i'm trying to talk people are asking questions you know and i'm like yo please chill i put in the chat please hang please chill out i'm gonna have to mute you i mute him he kept going and muted him for three minutes came right back you muted me kept going and i went bro this is it please stop you've been here for years please don't make me kick you out of the, the channel you gotta chill out didn't respond to me at all just kept going i let four more go and i went that's it blocked blocked his name and i felt terrible like this fool he watches the show and now he just screamed blank like oh even though he asked for it 50 times, it still makes me feel bad. It's like shutting the door on somebody who can't come to the party. Come on, man, please. Like, no, you just spit in my face. Come on, man, let me in. I still feel bad. Like, fuck you, no. But I still feel bad, like I'm excluding somebody. I used to get excluded from hella shit. It feels bad. So that's why I don't like doing it to people. It's not cool, man. So it made me feel bad even pressing hide from channel. Gone. Three minutes later, I know when people run different accounts. I can know when people's on someone's account. There's certain tells. It's just like when people write, just like handwriting. There's certain things that you give up that I know it's you, all right? New account, different account pop up saying the same shit. And I said his name like, yo, you gotta chill. I know this is you, please chill out. Kept going. Block that account. Four minutes later, another account saying the same shit. Four minutes later, another account. My bros, four accounts in one chat. Are, why? Are you a fan? We're trying to have a conversation in here. At this point, you're just being a dick. You're just being mean, dude. You're trying to actively mess up the chat. You know what I mean? I know the story time is very negative. I'm very sorry, but I'm just telling you how this started. This is the 5%. This is just the tip of the iceberg. I haven't even gotten to the story. And again, it's not that this person is so important we gotta talk about it. I'm talking about it because this is a very rare occasion that one of our fans from our community actually like a little dickhead because everybody's so nice and positive and forward thinking that I couldn't believe this happened. So two weeks go by, doesn't mess with the chat. I'm like, all right, good. I go do an event. At this event, there's a lot of kids around. It's for kids, charity event. I walk in, it's not my event. I'm just going, all right? Sponsored the stage and did some stuff, all right? You probably know where I'm talking about. Anyway, I go to this event, I pull up, very happy. You know, I'll just say, it. I, I, it's a Merced event because it's my hometown. And I'm so happy that I'm at the park and the place where it used to be so ghetto and get shot at and 
now it's like up and coming. It's nice. Fools are playing soccer. Merced Unified School District soccer thing is that like I feel so like wow, we're actually trying to do something positive. Like this is am I, I felt all grown. I felt like Furious Styles from Boys in the Hood. Like yeah, take back the neighborhood. That's how I felt like wow, we're doing it. I, once again, I'm not trying to make this person feel bad, and I'm not trying to glorify and make you feel like yeah, he got him to talk about me. I'll never speak of this person's name. I'll never talk about them openly. This is just a story of a random fool that is now mean. Doesn't matter anymore. Doesn't it? Doesn't matter. Like it's irrelevant. What about the other people that are being nice? What's up, fool? What's up? So I walk into this event. One person comes up to me like, "Yo, can I take a picture with you?" I'm like, "Yeah, no problem." And I see another fool like look at me. And I'm like, "Oh, here it starts. That's how it starts. Here we go." Like if I'm at a mall, it will just happen. You know, I'm not trying to say this like, "Damn, I'm cool." I'm just letting you know like I know the signs now of, "Oh, we're about to start taking some pictures." Hell yeah. What's up? What's up? Like I told you, I get hyped on that shit. I think it's very cool that people care, and it makes me stoked. I think we talked about a reason story time. People used to be very uh, like mean to me and make, make fun of me. So now that people are nice to me. It's very awesome. It makes me happy. So I walk up and I take a picture of the dude. Take a picture of the other dude, the other girl, and then boom, starts a line. I look up, I'm like, oof. It was like ten people deep already. I've been here for four seconds. Okay, here we go. Starts doing a meet and greet line. It's a charity event for kids. Very cool. I'm not smoking. A lot of the fans are like, yo, join him. I blinker real quick. I'm like, bro, I'm sorry. It's the kids event. I can't do it in here. Like, I'll smoke out in the parking lot because if someone sees me smoking, ripping a pen at the kids' toy event, they're like, look at this guy. Came back to town just to smoke in front of kids. What an example. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't be that, especially as the weed person from that town. I can't do, lead that example. That's not good for me. Plus, I don't smoke in front of kids. I don't. You guys know that. I don't. So. About 45 minutes into taking pictures with people. It lasted about four and a half to five hours. I just took pictures in one spot. Saying hi to people just didn't didn't move. That's what I'm there for. I'm happy that people are happy. Some of the people there were from my first meet and greet with GB at the shoe shop. Some of the same skater kids. So it was very cool to see them. Anyway, taking pictures with people, taking pictures with people. And then this tall kid with like a ponytail, like, I mean, just has to be the biggest fan. Like he is so juiced just doing this. I get a lot of fools. Like, I know the expression, like, I know that kind of dude, I know that dude, I know that kind of girl, like, that kind of fan, like, oh, hell yeah, I know what you're gonna act like. I can already see it. I met so many people, and I'm like, oh, this fool's just gonna be the, the one that goes, oh, what's up, for 40 seconds. And I'm like, what's up, man? It's cool, I, I think it's fine. I just know that type of dude. And then he does it, I'm like, he's like, bro, I'm such a big fan. I'm like, thank you, man, thank you, blah, blah. I just, I'm only mentioning him because you'll see later. Remember, I'm only mentioning the dude with the ponytail, for a certain reason. Once again, I'm not trying to glorify being upset with people. I'm not trying to make it like, damn fool, your town. Like nothing like that. And I only talk about it in the expression and passion I'm about to talk about because I'm telling stories. And that's the reason why I tell stories to make you feel like you're there. And I kind of feel like I'm there. I have a photographic memory. I'm back there. Like I see everything still. So I'm not trying to like put this person down in any way, shape or form. I'm just telling you what happened. So taking pictures of people, talking, uh, now a line, my dad showed up my whole family's there doing like the little event it's all for kids like it's perfect so i'm like yo what's up my little brother just running around taking pictures with fans taking pictures and then one dude you know i say what's up all right man thank you so much appreciate you i go to the next fan that's right there in line uh, the line has just started it's formed and the second i go what's up man in my head i went something's off some of this vibe as i'm talking i'm like something's off with this fool like not to make a fun of the guy way like us I, I was like huh energy's off I was like, what's up man nice to meet you in my head i'm like what's up something's up why do i have a horrible vibe horrible vibe coming from you what's going on and this is just going in my head i'm like what's up man nice to meet you i was like what's your name and he says his name i'm like why do I know that name? I said that to him like, why do I know that name? I just smiled because I'm like, do I know, what, what do we used to meet? I, I know the name, I can visually see the name in my head. And I go, why do I know that name? And remember, I'm not trying to make fun of everybody and I'm, I'm just telling you what happened. If this is you and you're watching this, just chill out and go live your life, all right? This is it, it's the only time I ever talk about this shit. I look at him and I say like, why do I know that name? And he goes, yeah, you blocked me three times. Just like that, yeah, you blocked me three times. And in my head I go, I know exactly who you are. Guys, I'm super polite. It takes a lot for me to get upset. I don't know what came over me. I got upset fast. And that's why I said, I think about it. And I think of like, why did you get so upset so fast? You could have just like worded it different maybe. But anyway, the energy I felt was not good. He said, you blocked me three times. I look at him and I go, wait, you're the fool that's been saying all that shit in my chat, right? And he goes, yeah. But he goes like that, yeah. And I don't know what came over me. In my head, I went, sock this fool in the face right now. In my head, I would never do that. You know, 
know we get those spurts of like, whoa, why are you being mean? Ugh. Not like because I'm violent, not because I'm like, I want to make you feel bad. Nothing. In my head, I just felt like, get away from this guy. Something's up. Get him away from you. Punch. Get him away. Anything. Get him away. I'm not condoning violence. I'm not saying I wanted to. In my head, it said, do it. I didn't do it, right? I didn't do that. So I said, yeah, you're the one saying weird shit in my chat. He looks at me and goes, yeah, that's me. I don't know what came over me, but he's like three feet away from me. I don't know why. I would never do this. I don't know why I got so upset. I think it was the entitlement in this person's voice. I did the like uh, one step and got close and go, so what's up? I don't know why I did that. I got so pissed. I was like, so what's up? Not like, what's up, fool, you want to fight? It was a, so what's up? Like, why are you here? I was so like confused and mad. I just went, so what's up? Like, I was just so like, why are you at the charity event doing this? And he goes, damn, bro, you don't got to try to check me. That's what he says to me. And automatically I felt like, Thomas, what, you're an asshole. Look what, look how you made this fool feel in my head. And I went, bro, I'm not trying to check you, my bad. But what, why are you here? Why are you bringing this here? Like, I was very visibly upset. There's a line of fans lined up behind this person. He's leaned up against a tree. And I'm like, I don't know why I did that. I shouldn't have approached it like that. It's just, he pissed me off so much that I'm like, you took the time to come over here to a charity event? My family's here. My little brother's standing next to me and you're gonna try to bring up some bullshit? I was just so upset. I don't know why it made me so mad. I didn't wanna fight. I didn't wanna give him that energy, but he's like, damn, you don't gotta check me. And I felt like a biggest piece of shit when he said, I'm like, damn, fool, is that the vibe you're giving off? Chill. Bro, I I'm sorry. But why are you doing this? Why? What's going on? Why are you here? There's 30 fans behind him. He waited in line for 40 minutes to do this. It's not like he just walked up and cut line. He waited in line at 40 minutes of going, yeah, this is stupid. Why am I doing this? That's why I think I was so upset. Like you waited in line. My little brother's standing next to me. My family's, right. I think all of these things like just made me upset. Like you're gonna do this here. Anyway, he said, you don't gotta check me. I'm like, bro, what's going on? Bro, why'd you block me like that? I'm like, cause you were saying weird shit in the chat. I asked you 47 times to please stop. Well, damn, I'm a, I'm a fan support. I'm like, I know. That's why I said 40 times. What's, what are we doing here? I'm like, you came all the way over here to do this? He's like, I just want to talk about it, man. I'm like, you want to talk about it? You're speaking of Jesus and Bible verses and shit. And we're trying to have a conversation. He's like, where's Marty at? Looks at me like, and just yells that. Where's Marty at? Where's Marty? And I looked at him and when he said that, I'm like, what? What does it have to do with anything? In my head, I'm like, yo, is this full off? He must be off. Why would you ask for a different human being when we're having a conversation? What? And I go, Marty? Remember guys, I'm not trying to sit here and like, oh, tough guy. I'm just relaying to you how I felt. I looked down and go, what the fuck are you asking for Marty right now? And I'm trying to like not yell. So my voice is very low and like, why the fuck are you asking for Marty right now? And he looks at me, he's like, I just want to talk about it. I'm like, talk about what though? About Jesus. And I go, I am not going to talk to you about Jesus right now. You're bringing some bullshit. Your vibe fucking sucks. And I don't know why I was just like, get this guy away from you. Get him away from you. And I went, how about this? I don't know why I did it, but I was so like, get this guy away from you. Something is wrong and it's not you. Like, I'm like, am I the one bringing this vibe? Like, no, 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 no. The second I went to say, what's up? The vibe was there. The vibe of hostility and fucking drama was there. And I just called him on it instantly because I was so mad that he would even try Try that shit that I got so upset and went, so what's up? Why are you doing this? Why are you here doing this at the children's event? I even said like, there's kids here, bro. This is a charity event and you're gonna come. I said this to him. It's like, I just wanna talk about it. You just blocked me. I'm like, in my head, I'm like, don't just keep going in circles with this guy. I went, you know what, man? How about this? Do me a favor, get the fuck out of here. And I just went like that, looked at him like right in his face, went, get the fuck out. You're not being cool. You're being a fucking asshole. Get the fuck out of here. And I went, get out of line. He looked at me like, I'm like, stand over there, go away. And I went, have a good day. And then just try my best to go, what's up guys, to the next person. It was a dad and a son. If you're watching, the dad and the son, the white, I think you're half Mexican, it look like. So you know exactly what I'm talking about. The dad and the son, you have the company, you're in Merced. I was half listening because I was making sure this fool wasn't gonna do something wild. I was not dismissing you. I wasn't trying to have a bad conversation with you. I wish I could have brought it back and found you later and talked to you about it. But this is me telling you, I was just being alert. You guys were talking and I felt like I wasn't paying full attention. I'm very sorry. So if you're watching this, 100% was not you, it was, I was in a situation. I start talking to him, what's up guys? Oh, your dad and son, how long have you been watching? The fool is standing four feet from me, staring daggers at me. I could see him staring daggers at me. I'm like, so what's up guys? And I went, oh, don't worry about this guy. So what's up, man, where you guys from? Merced? I'm like, he's like, this is my son. I go, no shit. And I look back at him. 
I'm an adult. I should not have this happening to me. I should not be acting like this. But I was trying to rationally get this person away from me while not blowing up on him because I had every right to blow up on him. But, oh yeah, while we were talking, I'm like, why are you, I'm here talking to kids, man. Talking to kids in line. I was playing a ball with those kids. And I go, but why are you here to talk to me about this? I was being good, man. I was playing with those kids. I was like, why do you keep saying that? While I was talking, it was like talking to a brick wall. I'm like, bro, you were saying weird stuff in the chat. I had to stop it. I asked you 12 times. Every account. You didn't have to block me. Yes, I did. You wouldn't stop. Where's Marty at? It was just like a cycle. And I went, you know what? Get the fuck out of here. So back to this, talking to dad and whatever. The fool looks at me. 30 seconds later, just starts like, I could see it. And in my head, I'm like, try anything, fool. It's over for you. Like, I kept thinking, like, I'm not violent, but like, you're gonna get shot here. Not just by me. That's all I kept thinking. Like, you are gonna get shot. Know where you're at. That's all I kept thinking. Like, don't do it. Plus, there's kids out here. You know what I'm saying? Like, be cautious on what you do, is what I was thinking in my head. Like, don't go for it, bro. It's gonna get bad. That's all I kept thinking. Like, he kept looking at me, started moving while I'm talking to dad, like 30 seconds later. But I would just keep my eye on him right here. And he's moving around. I'm talking, like, so. But I'm looking at them, my brain's here. So that's why I said I was having a bad conversation. I wasn't like fully in the zone with them. I feel bad about that. And I hear him, go follow, blah, 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 blah. And he just starts saying his own shit. Go follow me, blah, 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 fuck this fool. Go follow me, go follow me. All the fans are looking at him like, what? Making a fool of himself. But I also didn't want to make it worse. Obviously, he probably doesn't have many homies. He's probably a little off. He's younger, so maybe he got sheltered a little more during the pandemic. I don't know what it was, but those are the kids I'm always like, be nice to those kids. They're just off, bro. They don't get it. They don't get that they're off. That's why I was trying to like, if he was acting normally, it would have been a different story. I would have been on it faster. Like, yo, what are we doing here? Get the fuck out of here, bro. Get the fuck. I waited and waited and waited, and I was like, yo, get the fuck out. I couldn't take it anymore. It was talking, talking to a brick wall on the internet. It was just going back and forth. I'm like, bro, stop. So that's why I told him to leave. So he's walking around, go follow me, go follow me. And in my head, I'm like, what? Talking to the dad and the son. It's a toy drive. There's a bunch of toys there. Full leaves. I'm right by the entrance. Remember, I walked in a couple feet, got flooded with fans. I never left the, the entrance. That's why I kept building, because people walk in and go, oh, the line's right here. There was not supposed to be a line. I was just hanging out, but it was fine. That's what I'm there for. Anyway, full walks 20 feet that way out the gate into the parking lot. And I'm like, good, please, please leave. And I got this like shaking feeling in my chest of like, when I get mad, I don't like being mad. Why? And the whole time as he's walking out, I'm like, I really hurt that fool's feeling. Like, I really made his day shitty. Like, even though he deserved it, I kept thinking like, bro, the fool probably got no homies here. He's probably just gonna drive home pissed. I was thinking of these things like, fuck, I feel kind of bad. While I'm talking to the dad and the son still, I'm still watching. Walks back in, he has a little side bag and starts reaching his bag. I'm like, are you kidding me? First thing I thought, like, are you getting a gun out? It's the first thing I thought, like, is it that serious that you're gonna get killed? Not like, I'm gonna get shot. Like, you're gonna get shot before I get shot. I was just thinking like, fool, you're gonna get murdered right where you stand. I'm not gonna put it out there. I could look around and go, all right, all of you fools have pit. All right, you're all good, we're all good, we're all good. I know where I'm at. I know what Parmer said I'm at. I know who I'm with. I understand. I know my dad. It's not gonna end up good for that person. I'm gonna just stand there like this. Oh, well, I see somebody get shot. It would've been so sad. But I'm talking to somebody and in my head, I'm like, for real, fool? Are you, like, are you really about to pull it out? He's like 20 feet away is what I thought. Anytime I see someone reaching in a bag and we just had a hostile conversation, I'm on point and I'm waiting for it. And I told Rosie, I'm not gonna get too into it. Did not have a pistol in my pocket at all this time. I'm going to a kid's charity event. Didn't think I needed it, but 100% pistol fits directly in my pocket. You know what I'm saying? All these things are going through my head like, wow, don't got nothing in my pocket right now. Wow. This is the time? Charity event, who would've thought? You know, I was like, damn, this one's really gonna shoot me right now, for real? All these things are going through my head like, for real? As he's reaching his bag, he's looking over, the glasses on, so I can't see his eyes, he's just looking at me. And he pulls out money, I'm like, oh, okay, good. I know the security was on him too. All the security is on his ass. You could tell something was going on just by my body language of this fool, because I was I was so upset. Anyway, comes back in, I see him like pulls money out. I'm like, oh, okay. And he starts putting money into the bags where the toys were, and looking at me. Saying shit. I'm talking to people. I'm like, yeah, man. Thank you so much. What kind of company do you got? I'm talking to the dad and son. I'm like, that's bad. Father and son, you guys both do it together? Sick, bro. I'm trying to have a conversation. And I could hear him saying, like, cussing. He's cussing. He's right over there, 15 feet away, talking, putting stuff in the bags. I'm like, oh, uh, okay. For sure. I'm talking to them. Like, I'm, I feel bad. I'm like having not a full conversation. I'm not having a full conversation because I'm waiting for this fool to do something. It's just after I was looking at him, like, for real, you're going to pull a gun out here? And he pulled money out. So I was like, oh, okay. So I talking to him again. All this happened in 15 seconds. He walks away, put money in the bag. Bag, talking and I can hear him saying shit. I'm like, let it go, bro. Let him cuss at me. Let him call me all the names. Come on, bro. I don't. 
it's the internet. Like, I'm not gonna get mad at your comments, but I'm just gonna block you. This is visual blocking. IRL blocking. Don't care now. You're now relevant, don't care. Talking to these people. And I don't know what happened. This is why I'm like, damn, I wish I didn't get so mad. Anyway, remember earlier I said the tall guy with the ponytail? I guess he knew that fool. Because he was standing next to him when this was all going down. He was like that. He looked disgusted. Like, did I just fucking do this? Did I just bring this fool over here? Like, I could see him like that, like this. He looked like, oh. I'm bringing him up for that reason. So as he's putting money, he looks at me and, and he's like cussing. I look at the ponytail guy randomly. He just look was next to me. And he's like, bro, I'm so, I'm so sorry. I'm like, bro, it's not your fault. Yeah, that's not you. It's not your fault. He's like, I'm so sorry. I'm like, bro, don't stress it. And I'm talking to the dad and the son and I'm the guy's putting the money, like dollar bills or whatever he's putting in the toys. Motherfucker, fucking bitch. I'm just doing that shit. I'm like, Jesus Christ, this fool. And the dad and the son are like, you good? I'm like, I'm sorry guys. Like I I've never dealt with somebody like that. I've never had a bad fan. I've never had a, a rude person. I'm talking to them like I've never had this happen to me. I'm only not looking at the camera because I'm talking to them. This is the tree, exit, and the guy. I'm trying to give you the exact where I was at. I don't know why it pissed me off so bad. And I just hear, bitch ass fucking Rolex. You can think you could just fucking, I don't know why. I never bought nothing awesome for myself and I bought a watch. It bugged me. I was like, bro, I, I pay for the stage. I don't got no banner. I just did it because it's Merced. And I was like, dude, I brought the toys that you didn't bring. You just put money in. And in my head, I'm like, are you trying to say like I came to Merced to fucking have a role. You know what I mean? Like made me feel like I was being a piece of shit. I don't know why that pissed me off. He said fucking Rolex just come over here to fucking town. Fucking bitch. And then walks off. I heard it and I was like that. It was in my ear and I was like, let it go, let it go, let it go. Talking to the dad and the son, I went, can you give me a second? He's 15 feet away from me already. Other side of the fence is a parking lot. I don't know why I got so upset at that. It really pissed me off. Like, bro, I'm trying to do my best here. I'm just trying to give back here, bro. You're really making it hard not to get upset. I hear that. He walks away. I tell the dad and the son, can you give me one second? There's a line of 30 people. And I just power walked. How? From Malcolm in the Middle, I power walked my ass. Right when I got to the fence and I started jogging, I saw him, he was going between two cars. Remember, I'm not trying to glorify anything. I'm not trying to say like, oh, tough guy shit. I'm not trying to be like, yeah, fool, yeah, good, it's good for you. It's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to tell you what happened and I feel bad for it because I should have just let it go right then and there. I just felt like, do you think you can just walk around for two minutes talking shit in my vicinity and nothing is gonna happen? I was gonna let it go and I'm like, you know what? There's too much. You just got too brave. You just felt too comfortable saying whatever the fuck you think you could say. Let's go. What's what, what's up? I don't get in fights. I don't initiate shit. I have never walked up on a person and gone, "Sup, motherfucker," unless it was that story time where I punched that certain person in the head for the first time I've ever punched anybody. I don't get mad like that. I get past the vents. I see him between the cars. And I just start like running. And I'm running up. And I run up. What's up? I just start saying, "What's up?" And he turns around. And he goes, "Dude." And I walk up. Like, you think I can't hear you, bitch? So you think I can't fucking hear you? I can hear everything you say. You're brave over there. I'm in front of you. What the fuck? gonna do. I don't know why I got so mad at him. I was like, what the fuck you gonna do? And he looks at me, he's like, takes his bag off. I'm like, all right, what's up, fool? And I look and I'm like, all right, car, car. If I knock him right here, he's gonna hit the ground. No car's coming. I was just looking like, if I hit him and he falls in front of a car backing up, he's gonna get crushed. And I kept thinking like, I'm gonna lay you out right there. And I just looked behind him like, we're good. Put his bag down. I was like, it's over, fool. I'm about to fucking let you have it. I didn't want to punch him first. I know what that leads to. I get sued. You know what I'm saying? Remember guys, nobody else in the world is existing. I don't see anybody else the world, I have tunnel vision, I see this fuck. And he put his bag down and he stopped. And I was all, what, you're not gonna do nothing now? You're talking a lot of shit over there. And he goes, I just wanted to come and talk. And he goes back to that like, mm, demeanor. Mm, yeah. That's the, the noises I was hearing. I just wanted to talk. That's all I could hear. I can't hear him talk. He didn't sound like that, but that's what he sounded like in my head. I don't know who's behind me. I don't know who's looking. I don't know if my dad's why. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. My sisters are there. They brought their boyfriends. You know what I mean? Like my little cousins brought their boyfriends. It's a town event. It's Merced. It's the only thing happening. There's a concert going on. GB's performing. Like it is fun. And he goes, I just wanted to talk. And I'm like, about what? You didn't say anything yet. I asked you four times. And then I go, I wanted you to see this. Look in my fucking eyes and he took his glasses down. So look at my eyes. I've met 50,000 people, so many fans. You're the only one that has ever brought this out of me. You're the only one that's ever walked up to me with that fucking energy. I was walking up just to talk. I go, the second I saw your face and said hi to you, I felt that something was gonna happen because you have a terrible fucking vibe. Your vibe is so bad, I felt it when you walked up to me. He didn't say shit, he goes, you didn't have to block me. Go, I'm not gonna talk about it again. You didn't have to do this. This is a charity event. They're kids here? My little brother's here. You're coming here causing bullshit? And he looked at me like, didn't say a word. And I told him like, the fuck are you gonna do? You can leave? What the fuck do you wanna do? I don't know why I got so fucking violently mad. I was just like at the kids event, motherfucker. 
This is the first Merced thing I'm doing that's positive as fuck for just children and not weed. And you're gonna fucking make me look like I'm an asshole out here. I don't get mad at people. I let it go. I couldn't let it go. I don't know what it was. The fact that he know, no, that's what he went. That's what the fuck pissed me off. He's looking at me, he took his bag up. What do you wanna do, Thomas Araujo? Says my full fucking name to me. I don't know why that pissed me off. And that's why I looked behind him and I was like, Say my fucking name like that, fool. I don't know why it bugged me. Like, are you trying to like belittle me? Like I'm this little ass fool. I don't care if you're way bigger than me. Oh, the whole time I'm like looking up and I'm like, so what the fuck? I don't know why I was so mad. And he said, Thomas Araujo. And I just like, that's why I was so mad. And then I got into the, like, you're the only person in 50,000 people that I've met that brought this out of me. And I even told him like, why the fuck are you making me act like this? It was like a domestic violence thing. Don't make me hit you, woman. That's how I felt like, why are you making me act like this? That's what I told him. I felt so stupid saying that. Like, it's not his, what is his fault? But like, what a stupid thing for me to say. I don't know why I said that. So why are you making me act like this? What the fuck, dude? I just wanted to talk. You kicked me out of the chat. I'm like, I'm not doing this again. I'm not doing it again. What do you want to, and that's why I said, what do you want to do? You need to get the fuck out of here or you can do something right now. Picked his bag, like, and I was like, yo, get the fuck. I don't know why I did stiff hand, Barbie hands all day. I went, get the fuck. Out of here. I think as I wanted to smack the shit out of him. So get the fuck out of here. And he just turned around and walked and I'm staring daggers. I can't wait for him to turn around and say something so I can rush him. I was like, say it while you walk away, I'm gonna beat your ass. I felt like I was in high school again. Like I'm all sweaty and shit. Sorry, I'm all fucking hype. My entire shirt is stuck to my back. Sorry. And I just so mad, turned around and I'm like, oh. Okay. Shout out to you though. I, I'm not gonna say people's names. I was doing a GB event. A lot of gangbangers there. Turn around, there's a line of them. All cool. Not saying gangbanger in a bad way. I'm saying affiliate. A lot of affiliated looking dudes, which is fine. I fuck with those fools. I grew up with a lot of these people. I'm saying from the outside perspective, looking at me pissed and behind me is a bunch of fools. All right, maybe it looked like I was gonna jump you. Now I understand why you went, oh shit. I thought he was just like, oh man, maybe I shouldn't fight. No, I think he was gonna try to fight me. Just there was a hell of fools there. Not even that. We got shot. Shot in the parking lot. Not by me. 100% guarantee we got shot. That's why I'm so happy nothing happened. Sorry, I turn around to look and then Rosie's like that. You good? I'm like, oh shit. And she, my little brother's with him. I'm like, he was right here the whole time. That's why I was thinking, man, like, all oh, you fools are right here. Oh, fuck. Like, I felt like, damn, I felt embarrassed, bro. I look and all these fools are looking at me like, you good? I'm like, I'm good. And the tall Mexican, I'm not gonna say his name, tall dude, long hair, you know who you are. He's like, you good fool? I'm like, yeah, I'm good. I'm like, do me a favor, stand on my car, yeah? Cause I brought my May back. I'm like, this, this little bastard takes off and just hits it or something. I'm gonna go shoot him with somebody. I'm gonna go, you know what I'm saying? Like the first time I bring it and you do that while I was trying to deescalate, oh, I gotta kill you. Not for real, but like I would've been so upset. Like I worked my ass off for that car. As the fool's getting in his car, I look at Rosie. She looks at me, she's like, what's going on? I'm like, this fucking fool over here. She's like, that guy? And I'm like, what do you mean? And she's like, that fool was just being hella fucking rude to me. And I'm like, hold my shit. And I told her, I was like, no, grab my stuff. And I was gonna go over there and beat the fuck out of him in his car. Because I'm like, what did you just say? It wasn't just this situation. Situation, it's more than that. And I just got so, like, and me is a whole different story. But, like, Rosie is probably the nicest person I've ever encountered in my entire life, even in movies. Rosie's a nice, very nice person. To be rude to Rosie, I have to beat the shit. I have to punch your face in. Something has to happen. I start walking over. I was like, please don't. Please don't. And I'm like, I have my little brother here. Thomas, chill. You're an adult. Just go back to the line. Just go back to the smiling and being happy. That's all I said to myself. Like, just go back. Just go back, dude. And I just stopped. She's like, Thomas, please let it go. Let it go. Let it go. I'm like, what did he do to you? What happened? Then she gave me the whole rundown. Remember earlier? I was playing with kids over there. Rosie said some guy was being hella weird talking to the kids, but he had a really very like weird vibe. Not like a, I'm gonna take your kid. She just said he had a very like dickhead vibe. And I guess he went to say hi to Rosie and my godson's mom, he pushed her out the Way. He went like, excuse me, I'm trying to talk to Rosie and pushed her, touched her arm and moved her. And I guess Rosie's like, what the fuck? Get the fuck out, don't be touching people like that. She's like, I just wanted to talk to Thomas. She's like, why the fuck are you talking to me? The line's over there. And then that's when he went and stood in line. But I guess Rosie's like, what the fuck, this weird ass fool? She said, and then I saw you moving your arms and I went, oh my God, that's the same fucking guy from earlier. And she's like, I just waited, played with the kids. And then when I looked back, he was gone. You were talking to two people. And that's when I was talking to the dad and the son and he walked out. So Rosie, all she 
said that, my little brother came and said, Thomas just chased someone. And I guess Rosie ran to the parking lot and waited when she saw me talking to somebody. Didn't recognize the guy until I went, this is the fool right here. She goes, this is the same guy, but that's the guy that I was yelling at. She goes, that's the guy that was being hella rude. So all of this connects, right? So I'm just sitting there as I'm watching his car, back up, staring at him. I'm waiting, looking at him. And I was like, bro, let it go. Don't do it, just let it go. Go back to the line. Takes me about four people to shake it off. I'm talking to people, but in my head, I'm like, just fucking irritated. I'm just pissed off. I'm trying to smile. I told everybody, sorry about that. Whoa, that guy is tripping. And they're like, you good, bro? Everything good? Yeah, I've never encountered that before. And like, bro, I've never seen you upset. In my head, I'm like, we've never met. And then I go, oh, you've seen all my videos. Of course, you never seen me upset like that. I was so fucking mad. I don't know how I didn't do anything because I don't get that mad unless something's going to happen. I don't know how I restrained myself, but also like, I'm not there to bully anybody. I'm not trying to make him feel bad. I already made him feel stupid. I don't want to punch him too. That's so fucking mean. Like, I'm not here to make people feel bad, especially someone that's a fan. He was a fan for years. Like, I feel even worse. So, drive home that day, tell Rosie in the drive, like, how fucking bad I feel. I felt, I felt very bad. I felt really bad all day. Every time I thought about it, I was like, was I the one being too mean? And then I thought, like, well, no, he did say that shit. And then he tried to fucking get in my, th I'm like, no, 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 what am I saying? As I'm driving, like, fuck this fool. What a dick. So we get home from her set. I'm going through my list. I'm like, I know his YouTube name. Let me go on every app and just block them. I don't want this person ever around me or talking, anything. I'm gonna block them on every app. Hopefully their name's the same. So I go on Instagram. I already have them blocked. Didn't know that. I usually just see mean comments, block them. That's it. I didn't realize it was the same name from YouTube. I don't know how I missed that. I already had him blocked. I'm like, Rosie, this fool was rude to you. I, I need to go through your phone and I'm gonna block him on every account. She goes, dude, just block him on everything. I type it in Instagram, can't find his name on Instagram. I go through Rosie's block list because I'm like, does she have him blocked? Go through Rosie's block list. He's already blocked on Rosie's Instagram. I show her the account and she just goes, that is the same person. I go, this is the guy from today. What's up with the account? She goes, that guy has been so mean to me for like a year. But what do you mean? She goes, he can't constantly says horrible shit to me and makes different accounts. Same person. But what do you mean? And she showed me some screenshots she had. She's like, I forgot to even show you this. I'm like, what? He was saying some shit. I'm not gonna repeat it. He was saying some shit that you don't even say to strangers. Telling like, I cheat on Rosie all the time. And that's why I go film because I'm, I'm actually cheating on her. I'm filming now. We have locations on. There's cameras everywhere. What an idiot. Why would he even say that? With each other 24 seven. So she's like, I didn't even show you. Like it was so stupid. I just screenshot it so I could show you. And he was saying a bunch of stuff about like, you shouldn't even fix your jaw. You should got a BBL and stuff. Thomas is gonna leave you. All this crazy shit. Shit about like, oh, your babies are gonna come out like psycho shit. And I was in my bathroom and I just, Dragon Ball Z. Ah! Missed opportunity. Should have beat the dog shit out of the kid right then and there. And now I don't feel bad anymore. I only feel bad that he feels bad because he's still a human being. No matter what, you take away the weirdness, the dickhead being weird to my, my wife online. Take all that away. He's still someone's kid. He was still a 10 year old in line for lunch, you know, with light up shoes. I think about everybody like there's still that there. He just turned into some weird person, but 100% regret not beating the dog shit out of him. Now that I know he was actively being mean already. He came there looking for a fight 150%. There's no way around it. That's exactly what happened. I'm happy nothing happened. And this is out. So what I'm saying guys is I'm happy nothing happened because I'm not violent. Don't like being violent. I'm so happy nothing happened. I only regret that nothing happened after I found out that Rosie was going through it with this fool already. So before he started being weird in the chat, he was already being mean to Rosie? What kind of fan is that? But let's just check the boxes. How good it is I had no gun in my pocket? Right? It's not like I'm saying like you couldn't fight, you're gonna shoot. No, I thought maybe he had one and I would have blasted him too. I'm not trying to condone violence here or, or anything. I'm just saying like, good thing. Good thing that he didn't bust that out and it was just money for this stuff. There could have been so many instances that things went wrong. I thought he was busting it out and he was about to get murked. Didn't. And then he said that shit, I was gonna, nope, good thing we didn't. And then these fools were definitely gonna shoot his ass. Good thing you didn't. And then good thing Rosie didn't say, that's the guy, that's the guy, before he got in his car and told me to stop because it would have been over. Good thing I didn't know Rosie had already blocked this guy and been going through. It because I would have had no hesitation on being, I would have been so upset at him that something would have had to have happened. Then what happens? I'm sued, I'm going to jail or, or worse. What if I kill this fool? Or what if he killed me? Or, you know, or something crazy. We are here to make content. We are here to have fun doing toy drives. We are not here to have prolonged, ongoing beef with people. I 
don't care at all. That's what I'm saying right now. Like I just let it go. They're blocked. It's over. I don't care anymore. But 100%, I'm not saying this to be dumb. I'm saying this like that made me think different. Pistol in my pocket is going to happen forever now. I can still carry. Like it's over, bro. I'm not going to even deal with it. But that was like a light case. What if someone's like really weird and tries to hurt somebody or hurt me? Then it's over for them. That's the only thing that sucks is now I have to think different. All these meet and greets, I had an armed guard right next to me. Six foot five, huge dude, armed guard. 20 minutes in, all of them ended up sitting down 30 feet away because they realized like, I don't need to be here. I'm like, bro, just sit down. If I need you, you'll hear it. That's why I told every one of the guards, like, our fans are not, not like what you think. He says, bro, I've noticed. I've noticed, like, I don't even need to be here. I go, you need to be here in case somebody's weird, but you don't really need to stand next to me. That's why I told him, go over there, fool, just chill. That's why I told the fool in Illinois. I told the fool in Dallas, I'm like, you can go sit down, bro. You're just here. You're just here to be here. This one, I was like, nah, we're going to 12th Street. There's 12 unasked for armed guards attending. <laughs> like, I don't need it. You know, I didn't need it. I didn't say I needed it, but like, what if that person pulled something out? Good to have my armed guard there with a license to pop them but also like there's so many kids around like i'm so i'm just happy that nothing happened guys i'm happy nothing happened but also like how dumb i'm here making wee content laughing and somebody that got blocked got so upset at me that they had to come in person to troll me i wish that he would approach me different and would have smoked a bowl after and talked about it that's how i think of it every time like i really wish that this person was at home with this resolve because if they were my fan they're gonna see me still i'm not going nowhere and it's just started you think i'm I'm not gonna be a billboard in your town. A hundred percent, it's gonna happen. And you go, God, that guy hates me. I don't hate you. Don't hate you. I just think that something's off and you need to resolve that. Maybe you need your own Rosie to make you feel different. I don't, make, I don't know what it is, bro. Knowing that the fact that he was doing that to Rosie and all that stuff, texting or like, DMing, it just kind of shows like how how sad someone is, truly. Like to go and be hateful online, something's wrong with you inside. Something's wrong. I feel bad for that reason. 100% didn't make this video to go, yeah, made this fulfilled dumb. That's not what the intention was. Like I said, I wish we could have smoked a bowl after and just talk. But the energy and the hostility that he had, that wasn't the resolution that wasn't a possibility fool came for that reason and hoped to get it escalated that's all he wanted obviously by the questions and the way he was wording everything and the body language i wish it would have turned different but it did so be it it just made me feel bad now because now i'm like well now i gotta use my concealer now i gotta use it i'm gonna actually have it on me for like that's not fun i don't want that but that's what it's become. Plus, I live in LA, I already have that. You know what I mean? Like, I'm already good, but like when I go to Merced, I don't wanna to have to feel that way or do events in the valley. Like, there's some weirdos fools out here that might be so upset that there's just like, oh, four years later, it's coming back. Oh man, I gotta go over there. I'm trying to fight. I'm like, bro, come on, man. Go get a job or do, do something super productive. Go help elderly people. Go do something because what you're doing and hate not me. And if you're a real fan, you know exactly how I am. You know exactly what happened. And if you were a fan there and you witnessed this, I am very sorry. 100%, I felt so stupid. I felt so embarrassed that I let that happen in front of everyone. Let alone my entire family was probably watching. I have no clue. My little brother was hurt every word I said. I had no idea until the next day. I, I feel really bad, dude. I wish it would have turned different. I know I keep repeating myself. I just wish it was different. I've never had a fan encounter like that. I hope to never have one like it again because it wasn't fun. I've had 50,000 good encounters and one encounter bad dwells on. Just, I just feel like I could have done better in this situation. That was an intense ass story time. I sweated my ass off. Guys, this has been bad fan encounters, terrible fan encounters, or just like trash, whatever you want to call it. I don't like this. Is it even a fan encounter? Or just like a person that doesn't like me encounter? I don't know. But to conclude this story time, once again, be nice to people that are weird because they don't know they're weird. Maybe sometimes they just need one person to tell them like, yo, chill, not do that. Nah, don't do that, don't do that. And maybe they might snap out of it. I'm sure you had little brothers or sisters you looked at like, this fool's a nerd. 10 years later, like, bro, I never thought we'd be hanging out together. You were such a square or you were such a weird kid. You know what I'm saying? Everybody maybe just needs something. I'm sorry I couldn't be that somebody for that person. I really wish, like I said, we could have smoked a bowl after and talked about it and he went home thinking, I'm very sorry, bro. I gotta chill out. I'm gonna go do something with my life. I hope they watch it and see this and go, oh, he's not just being a dick to me. Oh, he really does. I do feel so stupid. So to conclude, I went to 12th Street where I got shot at from the last story time. I went to 12th Street with GB. GB's a reformed man. He just, shout out to GB. He just got an award from Merced City for philanthropy and helping out the town. Bro. That is some furious styles boys in the hood shit right there. Out of the entire event, 
I'm the one that had a problem with somebody. The tattooless, dressed in all push trees black, had a problem? I couldn't believe it. I turned around and looked at all these fools like, I'm the one doing shit. So yeah, guys, sorry for this story time if it was negative. I just thought it was like something I need to talk about. I've been thinking about it and I'm gonna try not to think about it anymore. Because now that I've said everything out loud, I shouldn't feel that bad. I, I think I held myself well. I just wish I would have done better as I said, but that's life. Do me a favor, guys, hit the like button, subscribe, notification bell, but most important, leave a comment. What do you wanna hear the next story time on? I can go for years. This is year five, so I can just keep going. So you guys let me know, like, spark some ideas. What do you want? Sometimes people say something, I go, I haven't done that. Wait, I have done that. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you'll be with a friend, they go, remember that one time? Go, oh, I forgot about that. That's how a lot of story times happen. When I'm chilling with homies I haven't seen in a while, I'll write it down, like, dude, I forgot about that time. So maybe you'll spark some memories I have, guys. Thank you so much, just leave a comment, I appreciate it. So this has been another episode of Storytime, season five. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I'm Dope Zola. Have a dope ass day.